Welcome back. Let's talk about one of the stocks that listed today, the merged entity relisted today, that is Sumitomo. Remember, it is a merger of Sumitomo India as well as XL Crop Care, which was trading on the bourses up until August. It's interesting because, you know, uh, XL Crop Care, which traded until August, was trading at around 3188 rupees per share on its last trading day, which was August 28th, and before the merger was uh, announced, uh, as in before the relisted entity has listed or the merged entity has listed. Today, Sumitomo Chemical trading at around 205 odd rupees. That's the high of the day. Swap ratio was 51 shares of Sumitomo for two shares of Excel Crop Care. Now, for investors who held two shares of Excel Crop Care as, a, uh, as on August, would, have, uh, would be worth around 6,376 odd rupees. And those 51 shares that it, they would have gotten in return for those two shares of Excel Crop Care today would be worth close to around 10,500 odd rupees. So on a five month basis, this return is close to around 64 uh, odd percent. So that's an that was an opportunity for investors, but the biggest beneficiaries of this have been the promoters because from a uh, stake of close to around 65% in a company which traded at a market cap of 3,500 odd crore rupees, post-merger, their stake has increased to 80% in the market cap of a company which is 10,000 crore rupees. So from 65% in a 3,500 crore rupee, the promoters now own 80% in a 10,000 crore rupee company. So let's see what the prospects for this business are and what the plan for them is. Uh, we have with us the management of the company, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Ray Nishimoto joins us, who is the executive vice president. Thanks a lot, Mr. Nishimoto, for joining in. First up, if you could tell us, you know, what your prospects for the Indian business now that the merged entity is listed are, and what are the operational synergies of this merger? I think uh, combination of Sumitomo Chemical India and XL Pro is a good fit because Sumitomo Chemical itself it have a lot of R&D pipeline and also XL Pro Care has a manufacturing capability and R&D capability as well as a footprint is a distribution network. So combining two company kind of a position, the largest and top class of the agrochemical company in India. All right, uh, Mr. Nishimoto, if you could give us a couple of details then, because a lot of investors out there, they would like to know what's the outlook for this newly listed company going ahead. So tell us, in the next couple of years, where do you see the revenues move to? And also uh, tell us, where do you see traction likely to come about, from the domestic business, domestic revenues, or do you believe that the export revenues will grow at a faster clip? I think uh, both is a big opportunity for the new company because uh, India uh, itself is our chemical market number six position in the world with 8% annual growth. It's a big, big opportunity and also uh, considering the, our uh, capability uh, for both R&D and uh, uh, sales and marketing and manufacturing, it will be over uh, market uh, growth rate we can expect for the future growth. And also internationally, we have a lot of opportunity in the many regions because we have to feed the 10 billion people by 2050. That well, is a big, big real opportunity yeah, that's, for Sumitomo Chemical India. Right, you know, Mr. Nishimoto, you're making a valid point here. You're believing that there is a lot of growth potential. But if you could drill that down to numbers, I'm just looking at the merged entity at the half year mark in Indian rupees, you've done around 1500 crore rupees with margins of around 16 and a half percent. Now, you must be having some targets, given the kind of uh, you know, growth we like to see in India and the opportunity that it presents. So where do you see this revenue number headed? If you could give us some clarity on that front. When I'm speaking, I don't have an exact number, but the, my strong ex, uh, expectation is a market, over market growth uh, rate ex, uh, expansion of the business. Actually, Sumitomo Chemical India, the result shows that 10 times the last 10 years is our uh, growth. So that I think a uh, new company uh, will continue to grow over the market pace growth ratio. All right, Mr. Nishimoto, then in that case, if you could give us some granularity on your revenue itself. You have a whole host of verticals. Can you give us a breakup of what sort of uh, vertical contributes what in terms of your revenue and what will drive this growth above market rate that you're talking about? I think uh, growth may be the two parts, is the India agrochemical uh, agricultural growth itself, as well as our new pipeline are coming in several uh, kind of products. So that uh, uh, in addition to India's uh, compound growth ratio, plus our new uh, product growth will help 
maybe I, I don't have an exact number, maybe I'd say that 50% uh, from came from the Indian uh, growth, market growth, and 50% from the Sumitomo Chemicals, a new pipeline growth. That is uh, my kind of a uh, rough uh, idea in my mind. All right, uh, Mr. Nishimoto, no, I think what you can definitely tell us is whether or not you're looking at keeping this entity listed, will you look to delist it? And if you're planning on keeping it listed, you'll have to bring your holding down. Promoter holding is at 80% now. It'll have to come down to 75%. Uh, how fast can you do this? And how do you plan on doing this? Uh, that is uh, also my understanding. We have to be kind of uh, under uh, regulation in the India Stock Exchange. So 75% is a fresh hold. So uh, my understanding is uh, within one year, we have to take such action. That is, uh, uh, we are now discussing with internally and with our advisors. All right. Will you be selling in the open market or will you raise more funds to dilute this stake and bring it down to 75%? Uh, also speaking, at this moment, we have considered uh, uh, any options to do so. All right. And finally, before we let you go, if you could tell us a little about your animal nourishment business. I believe that uh, gives you better margins. How much does that contribute in, in terms of your overall sales and what's the potential for that one? Is that the, please say again. Your animal business, animal nourishment? Oh, yes. Animal nutrition business is still a very small part of the new company, but uh, it's uh, also a very, very promising uh, opportunity to feed the uh, kind of poultry industry from our amino acid. So still, uh, percentage-wise, very small portion of the new company, but uh, I also expect a high growth uh, in the future. And we wish you all the best, uh, Mr. Nishimoto. Thanks so much for joining in on this listing occasion, but we'd like to touch base with you yet again and understand more granular details your vision in terms of revenue, where do you see the company headed as well, and which vertical is likely to fire. But thanks so much for joining in today and telling us uh, the, how optimistic you are on the company as well as the prospects going ahead. For the time being, we'll slip into a short break. Uh, and, um, you know, we get you first a quick programming note. Mutual Fund Corner is now your budget hotline where mutual funds have been replaced by their cousin, personal taxation, right up to budget day that is the first of february so tweet all your queries regarding the likely cut in income this budget or any other tax query that you may have use the hashtag rcnbc tv18 and tweet it to our news handle cnbc tv18 news and a host of experts will be at hand to answer your queries every thursday and tuesday at 2 p.m